We are live. What's up, folks? We're going to do some line work on these lovely, cute little pudgy guys. There's my computer getting loud, as usual. All right, so this is fairly simple and kind of relaxing. Just making some nice lines here. All right, let's do this. I'm going to have to get into the groove of drawing my lines, as weird as that sounds.
Rebellious Pastry, what's up? How's it going? I've been chilling here for a while. Just getting lost in the lines. Figured everyone's probably out partying. Being that it's good old Saturday night. I have some paid work that I'll probably start after this. It just takes a different kind of energy to to do paid work. It's a different mindset. See this I can I can just kinda kick back and relax. Paid work, I really have to get in the groove. Give him three fingers. Three paws instead. Belly button, little wings. Also, I couldn't really breathe that well earlier, so I took my my inhaler, and it always makes me the slightest bit. Actually, not the slightest bit, but it always makes me a little bit jittery, which in turn makes my Makes my uh, hands a little shaky. So I noticed with few a few of my circles and shapes and swirls, they were a little a little harder to come by.
I think it'd be cool to make people's names in designs like this and then sell them as uh, sweatshirts and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. Because so I might put this on a sweatshirt. Whoops. See how it comes out. I think that'd be a fun way to like do original art. Because I can do it for people, but then I can also just, you know, once I do a name, just have that available. I guess I could do custom ones too, but. Maybe just charge a little bit more for a custom. You never know, maybe it'll take off. I think it'd be fun to have, you know, your your own name or your own custom artwork. With some fun characters like this. What's up, Shanna? Maine? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, hey guys, welcome. Uh, so the brush is the, the brush I'm using is it's a brush called Buttercream, which is a brush uh, that came from Butterblade, which is uh, very similar. It just has less of a it's less stabilized. But um, these brushes I've actually I've actually tweaked and edited from stock brushes, and I have them all in in a uh, something called Faves Faves brushes, and you can actually download them for free. Uh, just go to my website drugfreedave.com, like drugfreedave drugfreedave.com, and if you go to the Skillshare tab on the bottom. You'll find a link to a Dropbox, and it has, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in there, but just look for Faves Brushes 2021. Uh, I'm actually going to update it soon. That way it'll have Buttercream and a couple other brushes that I'm using now. But it'll have Butterblade, which is pretty much, pretty close to this brush. But, uh, but feel free to go to my website, and you can download them there for free. I, uh... You know, I like to I like to tweak, and I kind I do it pretty often. I like to tweak brushes until I really get them to where they work for me. Um, I rarely like buy brushes. I feel like I feel like the stock brushes are pretty much handle anything that I would need. I think the stock brushes are pretty good. Hey Michelle, welcome. Welcome to the stream. A couple people hanging out on a Saturday night. I think it's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. But, um, inspiration. Lately I've had, lately I've had a lot, I would say had a lot of inspiration. I've had a lot of ideas that I've been wanting to draw for a long time. But I would say the biggest thing, uh, the, my biggest inspiration lately has been uh, drawing animals. So I started about, mm, I guess about a year ago. And I just decided to draw a bunch of animals 
and maybe try to draw like every like one of every single animal which is there's a ton of animals but that was kind of the idea i just wanted to draw animals and start getting more comfortable drawing animals so that's what i started doing on my youtube channel or on my um my instagram and luckily that went pretty well people liked the uh the animals so i've been doing that a lot and I have a uh, I have a lot of screenshots of different animals, just images, other art. I have I have I keep folders. I take screenshots of everything that I like, things that are beautiful, um, art, photography, anything like that. I always I always keep these things that I think are beautiful because I can figure out ways to incorporate them in my art. Uh, especially other artists like, you know, Instagram. There's some artists that I really, really love and I just, I just save their, I save their work. You know, and I can, re I can really just go through my phone and just immediately be inspired. You know, maybe try to figure out what maybe another artist is doing that I like and that I want to learn how to do. But that keeps me very, very inspired. Other artists and other animals, beautiful things like that. I probably have like 50 animals that I, I, that I want to draw. But I also, I also want to do TikToks, and I have video ideas that I want to do for like Reels, Instagram Reels, things like that. There's just there's so much. Making T-shirts. I just made a bunch of t-shirts on my Redbubble. Um, and I like to make, uh, I like to make shirt designs that like mean something to me. Like I made, like I take my old high school and some of the sports I played, like I was in track and field, I did high jump. So I made some shirts, you know, for high jump. Uh, some general ones and ones that were like particular, particular to me. I also, I was on the bowling team. I know I probably don't look like a bowler, but I was on the bowling team and, um, you know, bowling was my sport. So I had to make a bowling sweatshirt, a bowling design. Uh, but I love doing stuff like that. But it would be fun, as I was saying before, it would be fun to make a series of shirts like this. They kind of remind me of the type of thing I would see in uh, Uniqlo. But, but Uniqlo doesn't have anything on me. I know they do a lot of like cause stuff, which is sort of similar, but also very different. So I don't think there's any, any correlation there. I don't think, I don't think they do as cute is cutesy of, of things though. Oh actually these are over the over the eyes. Oh it's Sunday Sunday. Where uh, what country? Actually it's probably Sunday here too. It'll be Sunday in one minute. It'll be Sunday in T minus probably 15 seconds or so. But this is actually really, really fun and relaxing to do this, this type of art. 
and it really helps with uh, just sort of keeping you fresh with your line work and things like that. Yep. Oh, Florida, yeah. I'm in Brooklyn. So are you guys all uh, like visual artists or do you use Procreate or any, uh, you know, any type of app, app like that or do you do Nomad Sculpt? My, my channel has actually been doing quite well with the, the Nomad Sculpt content. Surprisingly. So I've been doing a lot more of that kind of stuff too. I really like the integration with with Procreate, but even on its own, it's really, it's really a fun app. I, I dabbled in 3D 20 years ago when I was in college, but I'm gonna sneeze. I think I'm gonna sneeze. It's so close, it's there. No, I think it might have went away. Nope, it's back. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Uh, <laughs> um, it's it's pretty uh it's pretty chilly. It's forty seven degrees here. But I was just outside feeding the cats not too long ago, and it's it's not that bad. At least it wasn't that windy when I when I went out. But yeah, it's a bit chilly. And if you guys want to see more of my art, uh, feel free to uh, check out my Instagram is Drug Free Dave as well. So just in case. Uh, you know, you guys want to check out more of what I do. More animal type work. And I've been doing these lives probably... I've been doing them pretty regularly. I would say... I try to get on every night around 11 or so. My fiance goes to sleep around then. As long as I don't have work really early in the morning, then I try to get on and do some creating. Okay, these are looking pretty good so far. So Shan is an illustrator. <laughs> oh great, yeah, so you're new so you're new with Procreate. Seventy, yeah, that's actually I mean sometimes it is it does every now and again it does get really nice again in the daytime. But I think we're unfortunately down here, we're or up here, we're past uh we're past a lot of that 70 degree weather, which I miss. But I, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind the seasons. But for example, like last night, um, I don't know if I wanna, um, let 
Last night I was working and absolutely freezing my butt off. So cold. I mean, I was I was pretty well dressed and I had my heated socks on. But you can't really you can't really fight it at a certain point. I was outside. We were outside from like 5:30 or so. Till about oh I gotta I gotta shrink this I gotta shrink these. Let me make sure this is everything. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna shrink I'm gonna shrink the sketches too. Cause I want everything to line up. I want this to be straight. Straight in the middle. There we go. Yeah, I was uh, I was freezing last night, um, and I had a I had a bunch of layers. My 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 feet my feet actually did get kind of cold. I should have turned my heated socks up, but I I always leave them on medium because I'm afraid that uh, you know I don't want them to I don't want the battery to go on them. But they're actually pretty good heated socks. Just got them from Amazon, but they're pretty good. Is that straight? No, it looks straight enough. Okay, so this is looking pretty, pretty good. So now I am going to Camille Studios. What's up? So now I'm going to erase. So we have our we have our shapes here. So I'm going to erase where the lines overlap. So I'm going to go ahead and merge these. Merge the, all the words. So then I can easily erase. Let me use a different brush. I use graffiti brush. And again, anyone that wants to download my brushes, um, you can go to any of my regular videos. Maybe not my live videos, but my regular videos. In the description, I have a, a link to the brush as well, and on my website. And this guy, can't remember who, someone suggested that I have one of these characters biting one of the words. So that's what this guy is doing. Rascal. Yeah, Procreate has really, really changed things for me. I, I must say, kind of changed uh, the course of my illustration career. It just made it so easy, so easy and not accessible, but in a way, because um, the things that I wanted to do was just, I, I mean, I could, I could have been an illustrator traditionally, traditionally, and I think I would have been fine, but it's just so much more difficult. Like now with the technology, we just have so much more leverage to change things and make different decisions and, uh, you know, there's just so much more to take advantage of. Every now and again, I guess I, I do sketch on um, with pencil and paper, but not much. Oh no, that should be in front. Okay, is, um, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? Yeah, down here, this little hand. <laughs> Sorry, I, I always forget that there's a mic there. I can't blow dust and stuff off the screen without being obnoxious okay so this little and actually the way uh, I thought of this sort of design I had to come up with a I had to come up with a design for a company 
and they wanted like a, a children's design, like a more, you know, a more fun sort of vibe. So that's kind of how I came up with this, this type of design. Because I didn't know what I was going to do, but... I kind of want to wanna open this up a little bit, I think. No, I think that's good, actually. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so let me bring up the opacity. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that, shouldn't I? Um, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have merged this down. Let's see what the quality looks like if I just duplicate them and merge them. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Thank goodness. Yeah, it doesn't, it looks fine. But I shouldn't have merged them when I lowered the opacity of uh, of the layers. That was a mistake. Okay, we're pretty good here. So next, I don't think I really need the sketches anymore. I think we're all set there. Let me changes to a different color you and me both uh michelle yeah when i started working in in when i started working in digital art in general I knew it was there, but then once I saw Procreate, it was like everything that I wanted in a digital art platform. Shanna, when I downloaded your brushes, well, when you download, if you download them on the iPad, they should, I feel like when you download them, it should prompt you to open them in Procreate. If not, I think if you send them to your iPad, it should have the little dialog box that says open in Procreate, I believe. I think that's pretty much how it works. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how that's how it works. Okay, so I'm I'm happy with these. Do I want to just merge them all? Let me just merge them. Live dangerously. So let me set this as a reference layer. And I'll set this as a reference layer. That way I can easily color this stuff in. Now I'm not sure what color I want to make all these things. But for now, no, not that. What am I doing wrong here? Hmm. Oh, I just had the threshold was too high. There we go. I always do this thing where I... I like to start out the letters sort of similar but slightly different in hue. I don't know why, but I just like it. Maybe I'll just keep going. Hmm. 
Yeah, let me know, Shanna, let me know if that works. If it works out. Um, if it if it just opens in uh, in Procreate. I should know. I mean, I've downloaded brushes before. I just, I can't, I can't remember. I don't know why I like doing letters like that. I just find it interesting. I mean, I can change all these colors later, but... Uh, okay, so now for these guys. Okay, well I know that the ground is going to be like a l very light green. I like to do very... I like to do uh, very like pastel-y colors. So we'll start with that. Let's see if I want to make it lighter. Very light colors. So we'll start up here. Part of me kind of wants to do like a rainbow, like almost a rainbow going down with a type of colors, but that would be kind of, that would be difficult. I'll just do the, uh, I think I'll just do, which one is gonna be yellow? We'll make, we'll make this guy yellow. He's cute. Oops. They can be yellow. Make this guy orange. He's got a little tongue in there, so we'll make the tongue pink. And we'll make this area in his mouth red. Do I want to do his teeth? Oh, great. Hmm. Um. Do the brushes show up as? I don't. Even, I don't even remember the extension for the brush. And I can't check my computer because OBS will probably get messed up. Oh, my, my parents watched, um, my, my mom was telling, is just telling me that my dad, her and my dad watched Jungle Cruise and they really liked it. I didn't see that movie. All right, so let me look at my Dropbox. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like if it's a if it's either a procreate is a procreate file and dot brush set is a procreate brush set. So just make sure the extension is dot brush set and um what's happening when you when you click on it? Hmm. Yeah, hopefully we can get that worked out. It's always something with these, uh, with all this technology. You just want something to work flawlessly. Whoops. That little guy's got to be blue. So what color didn't we really touch? We'll make a, we'll make him like a minty color. Should make it a little bigger for you guys. Okay, now we can do make this guy like a light purpley. And we'll make his belly a little bit lighter.
Okay, so what colors do we have up here? We're still missing... Yeah, we can do a... We can do a pinkish color for him. Maybe a little bit lighter. Then we'll do a nice off-white for his little horns. Okay. Not really sure if I'm going to make their eyes black yet. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Color his horns in the same way. And what color can we make him? Make him a little more... Oh, well, thank you. That makes me bashful. But I, I definitely appreciate it. It's actually nice. It's a little bit easier for me to, to um, talk at a more comfortable rate. If I'm not... Sometimes I get a little overexcited when I'm drawing. And then my voice can get kind of high. And I don't like listening to it myself. But... What? Why isn't his little leg... There we go. Okay, this little guy. I feel like he needs to be... I guess he needs to be green. But he needs to be like a... Maybe we'll make him like that color green. He needs to be like a different green. Maybe more green? Yeah, I don't mind that. I'll buy that. We'll do off-white again for his teeth. We'll do the same off-white for teeth and horns, I think. Oops. Okay, we're good there. And then for his other little hand. We'll color that in green too. For this guy, we'll go with a light, the light yellow. And this random feller. Let's do... We'll go with a darker blue, maybe. Since we don't know who, who or what this is. Yeah, sorry you're having issues with the with the brushes. But um Yeah, they should they should definitely work. Mm, what color should this guy be? Make him a really light. Uh we'll make him a, we'll make him more of a canary yellow, I think. I don't think we have anything that's really a canary yellow. Maybe even a little richer. There we go. And 
we'll go with our same off-white for the for the wings somehow my Google thinks that I'm trying to <clears throat> my Google thinks I'm talking to it I am not Google I am not not at the moment Oh, should I give him this tail? Maybe I'll give him the tail. I don't know if that was meant to be a tail for him, but I think it works. Whoops. More teefies. I think for the other mouths, I'm not going to use the black lines. I'm just going to draw the mouths in. But I'm not certain. I usually don't draw teeth with lines. Maybe I'll use pure white for these little ghost ghost guys. Just because they're ghosts, I feel like it makes sense that they're pure white. And I'll actually... That's the one good thing about having, having it all on one layer, is I can sort of edit these colors. You know, if I don't think they're too... they're pastel -y enough, or if I just want to change them, make them richer or darker can always do that um, what color for their you know what for their little thingies I think I'm gonna start one really light one darker and one darker I don't know why. I just like those. I like like color combinations like that. As you can see. Okay, so what color should this guy be? Hmm. like a teal or a turquoise make them like a turquoise color those little ears I feel that this guy would be orange his belly a little lighter. I feel like this guy would be gray, but gray isn't really that exciting of a color. Although, I mean, I like gray, but let's see how that works. Those are, but we'll color them pink. Now over this guy, maybe we need like a red. He can be sort of like an apple or something. Now we have that, and then we can use a, a different green for the leaves. Especially since it's kind of close to that. Mm. Oh, this one I think I want it to be like blueberry colored. Let's 
that's so weird that's very weird china i'm sorry that you're dealing with this uh this stuff i'm sure you've done all the normal things like close procreate and reopen procreate but don't uninstall it or anything like that make sure you're because then you'll lose your work so uh maybe delete delete the procreate file if it's on your on your ipad and then just try to bring it back over uh that might work oh and also check your procreate check the list of brushes maybe it's like weirdly like on the bottom or somewhere strange like that Okay, so blueberries are kind of like, actually, it's, that, that would be kind of close to, oh, there we go, something like that. It's not bad. I don't want I didn't want it to be too close to these purple thingies here. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like these need some color behind it. Now I'm just thinking, how did this turn? This is a, this should be greener than this. Let me, th let me see. It should be a little greener. That's better. Mm. And this should be just like a brown, I think. Okay, so let's see. The one I the one I, I did for the company I actually made a cloud so that was blue. So I'm not sure what colors I should make these little blue blaze. Maybe I'll just kinda make them different colors. I don't know, it's kind of just fun to make colorful, colorful things, random colorful bits and bobs. Green, what goes good with green? Purple. Hearts, they can be I think like some pinks and reds. I think that will look good. Oops. I'm gonna do some reds. Is anyone drawing anything over there? Jen. Delete and reinstall. Oh good. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> it's always it's always something. It can never just be smooth. It can never just be smooth. But at least we got it working. 
So now you'll know when I when I update it. Which I I'll, I'll do I'll do soon. I promise. But or you can just buttercream is really just butter blade. But I think I I put the um, if you if you click on butter blade. Essentially, all I did was duplicate that brush, and then I just turned up the streamline. I think it was at zero. It might have been at zero, but I think I might have turned it up to like 30 or 40 or something like that. Let's see. Oh, I turned it up to the max. So the streamline is up to the max. And Butter Blade is the same brush, but the streamline is only at 70. So not that much, not that much difference, but I can feel it because I use them all the time. So I will go with this color here, this color here. It's looking good. And you know, we'll just add some, I kind of just want to add some colors in here. I don't know, it just doesn't feel it just feels like it needs some they need some color in there. Maybe I'll just make this this color. Let's see, do I like the colors in there or should I just leave it? I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, it's been fun, Michelle, have a great night. Enjoy that comfortable 70 degree weather down there. If we could all, if we could all be so lucky. I'll get rid of that color, we don't really need the color. We don't really need it. That's okay. We'll just color in these. Okay, so do I want to make their... Okay, so let's do their little mouths. The little ghost ghost mouths. Oops. And I'm actually going to see how this looks. I'm not sure if I want to... I'm not sure how I want to do this. find that buttercream color that off-white for teeth any more teeth or horns no I think I got it oh, his horn I feel like his horn should be more yellowish though I don't know why I guess like I feel like Norwal horns are a little bit more even though he's not a he's not really a Norwal well, he's kind of a Norwal I think they're I think they're if he was a Norwal the thing would be coming from where his nose is. But that's okay. It's close enough. Give him a little tongue. Yeah. 
and we'll give him there we go and maybe even maybe we'll color these in a little bit too just for the heck of it and you know what else I want to do for him I want to make this nice and light give him a little belly okay that looks pretty good I'll give him a little belly too oh and he has a little horn up here so we'll make, we'll color that in for him. I feel like I want to make these foot pads kind of like a... I was going to make them black, but maybe I won't make them black. Maybe I'll... Make them a different color like this. And I think I want to give these guys have their eyes be black, maybe. Does that look weird? So I'll give him eyeballs. Um, yeah, I feel like their eyes look kind of funny when they're black. Oddly. That's okay. So maybe I just need to give them eyeballs if their eyes are open. Him, I think he can have black eyes because he is a robot type thing. I'll give him, make these white. Actually, I kind of just like it the way it is. Maybe give him some really light pink. I like that. Give this guy with some light yellow eyes. Color in his mouth. We'll give him a little tongue. cute little tongue there and we'll give him give him some little teefies okay now this guy definitely needs I'll just use this color And let's see, what color for these things? I 
I tried. Yellow eyes doesn't really work with that guy. So we'll just stick with... Make it a little off-white. And these will go with black. That works for him. Let's see if black works for this guy. I kind of like the black now. Maybe I was bugging. Let's see if I add the little thing that I always do. Yeah, I don't mind the black. One guy can have yellow eyes, but not everybody. And he has regular eyes. I would love to be able to monetize on TikTok, but... <clears throat> excuse me. My, uh... I can't really... I, I can't really gain that much ground on TikTok for some reason um i am on there um, i'm drug free dave there as well i do have some bunch of videos but i don't i don't seem to can't really hit can't really hit on tiktok i'm not sure why it's also like i haven't i mean i feel like tiktok is sort of a I don't know. It's a different, just a different crowd. But I do, but I do have fun posting there. Like I like making reels on Instagram and then I, I also will post them to TikTok. Uh, I do like posting there, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm anywhere close to being monetized there. Instagram, you know, uh, I can make a little bit with their reels and stuff like that. Um, and that's not all the time. It's only, you know, certain times. Uh, but TikTok, I have one, there's one guy, or actually, is it a guy? I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, sometimes it's funny because I'll be talking to people and they have their usernames. So, you know, I'll just think of people as their usernames versus like not actually knowing what their names are or what their gender is. But anyway, one person that I always chat to uh, is a TikTok baller. Has, has you know has a lot of a lot of TikTok steam. But yeah, I can't. I'm working on it, but nothing is nothing has really hit for me there yet. But hopefully, hopefully in the future, I can make some money on TikTok. That'd be cool. I feel like with, yeah, I feel like with TikTok, you just need like one or two to really like do well. And then you'll just sort of fall into the, do I want to, I don't know if I want to have the lines. I'm not sure. Does it look better without those lines? I can't really tell. I think it might look better without the lines. So what I'm going to do is just erase them if I don't need them. And maybe I'll use his pink. Look at this rascal. So we'll use a we'll use a lighter color for his little Cuz 
little teefees. There we go, he's got a nice big mouth. Oh, I forgot this guy, he needs this poor guy. Standing there all well behaved, waiting for his color. We'll give him Maybe some light blue color here. Did anyone draw anything cool this weekend? Also, oh, you know what I have to do? I have to go on my, <clears throat> excuse me. I have to go on my uh, Facebook page and post a another drawing um, a drawing thing. People really like that. And I haven't been I've been not slacking, but I just I've been so busy with doing a bunch of stuff that I haven't been able to to put any uh, any post to see what people have been drawing. So I will do that tomorrow. So if any of you guys have any work that you want to show or procreate work it can actually it can be really any kind of artwork but i make a post on my facebook group procreate tutorials and guidance you can probably just look up my name on on facebook but um yeah so that's that's a, a procreate group that um, i post tutorials to and other other creators post tutorials to and it's been fun. I actually made the group uh, just as a place so I could put my tutorials. But it just kind of became its own thing, which is weird. Okay. I'm gonna do pink for this, and then we'll do we'll do a darker. We'll color this whole thing in that color. Maybe a little bit here too. Although I feel like I need to add the lines if I do that. So let me just add a line here. There we go. And let me do the same thing here and add some yellow. And I, I need to add another line because he needs to have his other little thingy here. Okay, so he needs an eyeball. I don't know which direction I want him to be looking. I like that. Okay, I'm, I would say that I'm pretty happy with 
how this is looking so far. You know, I want, I want darker leaves for the blue. Blueberries have like dark leaves. What color are their leaves? I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know what? We'll just give them. We'll give them some green. That's fine. And then we'll give them some light. Little cutie dots here. And for the. Part of me so bad wants to use an airbrush. Wants me to, wants to go like this. But it just, part of me wants to go like this so bad, but it just doesn't work with the overall th theme. So I can't do it. I don't think it would look right. No, I don't think they need it. We'll just keep the ghosts without that. Okay. And you know what? Let me do some. to make his mouth open so we'll do green we'll do a really mm, it's gonna be the inside of his mouth maybe make it a little darker just so it doesn't look like it's the letter yeah that's better for sure sticky art Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have about, I have a bunch of TikTok videos. So if anyone wants to go and check them out, let me know what you think and what I should do better on, on TikTok. What can make my TikTok blow up? And the blush, yeah, for sure it's better without the lines. So I'm glad I got rid of those. Okay. So... I like how this is looking. Let's see how it looks on a white background. Looks nice on white. I like that. Looks like everything is colored. So let me... Let me find a good... Ooh, I like, I like this nice warm... Try to find a good, I like that. I like to find a good like base color to kind of help it stand out a little bit. So what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna add my little dots, my little light pops. I almost, bet, I almost spelled highlights wrong. Okay, so we're going to use Shadow 30. I think that'll be the easiest. Shadow 30th. Shadow 30 is just graffiti brush, but set to 30% opacity. And I'm making jelly beans on all of their eyes. At least the ones that are where you can see the pupil. I guess these are just kind of just one big pupil. So 
three more, this guy. My little robot guy. You get some nice thick jelly beans. You get some jelly beans. Okay, I think that's it. And now we'll just go to a regular buttercream brush. And we'll add our little pops of light. We'll do them all in the same, coming from the same direction. give you your little pops down here okay all right they have their little pops of light let me go back to shadow 30 and I'd like to do the same thing. I'm gonna do it on a new layer, just in case I don't like it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use a new layer, and I'm gonna bring the layer down to 30%, and then I'm gonna use a full brush. That way, if I need to make edits, I can make them easily. Just add some nice little light pops here. So that would have a shadow. Do I want to do shadows? I feel like I should. I feel like it's not responsible for me to... To make them like coming into contact with the letter and then not adding a shadow. But the whole point of these things is it's supposed to be sort of uh, simple. But I get like, I, I love like details, so it's hard for me to really do like simple things because I. My brain just like doesn't want to turn off. It's like, no, logically this would be here. This would be here. But now my brain is like, logically, logically you should be working on your paid work, but I'm, I'm not doing that just, just yet. So if I did want to add some shadows, I'll add it between there. I'll use a multiply layer and I'll use shadow 30. Okay, oh, ooh, a little big. That's a little big. I think he needs that much shadow. Just a little, little something. Now this guy can have the most shadow because, you know, you want it to show that he's... Oh, see, that's where a shadow 30 is not good. Okay, that's good. A little bit of shadow under here. A little bit of shadow there, a little bit of shadow here, a little bit here. A 
Maybe a little bit here. Oops. A little bit there. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now, I don't know if I want to do extreme highlights. It does kick in. It really does. I don't even know where I want to put the extreme highlight. I don't know if I want to put it. I mean, it doesn't really need it. But I feel like if I, I feel like if I was gonna do it, I'd have to do it like. Sort of similar place to where I did it on their eyes. So that would be like here. Yeah, I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'll just do a little bit. Think, what do I think about those? Do I like it without or with? Doesn't really need them. I don't think it really needs them. To be honest with you. Uh, okay, but one thing that... Oh, you know what? I think he needs some... He needs some, uh, he needs some light color on him, I think. He's very green. I think he could use a little bit of some cute little bubblegum circles on him. I like that. And maybe even like some, I can go crazy here. I shouldn't be going crazy here. I don't know why I'm... Go a little crazy with him. Okay... So now it looks good. The only the only last thing that I should do now is um, make an outline, and then I think I'll be done. So for the outline, I'll just use. I guess I can use. I guess I can use the same brush. Sometimes I use a Studio Pen. Yeah, Studio Pen is probably better. So essentially, this is for if I was to make it on a black shirt. The black lines will be preserved. So essentially, I'm just manually making an outline. Sorry, 
itchy nose. Itchy nose, itchy nose. And there's lots of like shortcuts to make um, outlines. Like there's the one where you like blur. You can like blur it or something like that. I tried that a couple times, but I don't remember how to do it. So now I just, I just do my outlines by hand. There's a trick for everything, but sometimes it's just, I just like to go ahead and just do it manually. I actually kind of like, I prefer if these touch. Because if I'm, I feel like if I'm making a, if I want to make a sticker or something, it's better if all the elements are touching each other, or at least the white. So, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I made these things so far away. Oh well. Is anybody getting any tech for Black Friday? Or I guess it doesn't have to be tech getting any any anything for Black Friday. I know maybe not all of you know what Black Friday or like maybe Black Friday isn't a thing where you're from depending on where you're from. Because it is definitely a thing here. Although I have a feeling the computer that I want is not going to be... I'm not going to be able to find it for a decent price. I think I want the 2021... iPad... I mean, not iPad. Um, MacBook. I think I want the Pro. I think I want the 2001 MacBook Pro. I can't remember if it's the Pro or the Air. I think it's the Baseline Pro. I can't afford any more than the, the Baseline one, but I feel like I feel like that would allow me to really bring my streams to the next level. So it's worth the investment. I actually really like doing outlines. Art has a very soothing effect. there very very close I keep thinking to myself I want to go see a movie tomorrow but I should probably 
start working on the project I have to finish. That way, if I want to go to the movies, I can go and not feel guilty about it. Not that I would really feel too guilty about it, but whenever I have something I need to get done, like I just, I feel like I need to get done as quickly as possible. Okay, so I feel like I missed a few, sp oh, let me fill this in. Oh, let me take this off reference. Reference. Okay, good. And I saw a few things I forgot to color in, so let me just do that. And there was one more down here that I missed. Time management. Honestly, um, time management usually just get to it ASAP which I'm, I'm really good at. Um, in this project I'm talking about, I just got it yesterday, but I already did the sketch. I just need to like finish it up and make a make the artwork out of it, but it's just like this. Um, I just have to start. Once I start, then the OCD kicks in, and then I'll just keep going and keep going and keep going. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow, because once I start working on it, I'll just be... I'll just work on it until it's done. But also, I want to finish it so I can do some more lives and things like that. So now we're good. Now, if I put on a, on a black sweatshirt, it looks like this, or a black shirt. Um, and I wanted to put my, I think I want to put my signature down here. And actually, I feel like, I feel like the, I feel like these two first letters can be a little bit a little bit more. I feel like this can be a little bit more into the red. Maybe. They just seem a little bit... Uh, Maybe it's this way. No, that's too light. That's a bit better. So, do we even like those colors? Blue's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Interesting, interesting. And we could also, let me go back. We could also do this, duplicate. We 
you can get crazy with it and just alpha lock, fill layer. Then we just have a straight color that we can mess around with. I think I like the I do something like this, and then I decide to Kind of like that. It's kind of interesting. Now we can really go crazy and see what happens now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like the original. The original looks the best. It's kind of interesting. I don't, I don't mind that. Hmm. I'll copy it. I'll go back. And I'll paste it. So now I have both. Okay, so now I have both. And I, just, I, I think I want to put my... Um... My signature, what do I usually do my signature with? Clear this. Oh, but do I even really need my signature though? Ooh. I'll just do it in a darker brown. I don't want it to be too prominent. I really don't like when signatures are super prominent. Like I know it already, it already says my name on it, but I feel like I feel like I still have to sign it. to be in line maybe even a little lighter yeah I don't really want it to be too noticeable or you know what else would be kind of cool if it's just Oh, I guess you can't really see what the words are, but I was kind of thinking that'd be cool for like a shirt if you could see through it. But you can't really, I guess you can kind of read the words.
but I think it looks better with the with the color. Because if it was on black, you would still lose. You would still lose the. Uh, White actually isn't bad either. I'm getting tired, so I think that's it's time for me to head off. Uh, I might, I might make a, I might make a TikTok out of this, but I should probably just go to bed. My eyes are getting so dry. It would be fun to make a TikTok out of this, though. Hmm. And if I was going to do that, it would be so easy. Let me group these first off. Group. All I would have to do is make a new layer on top, but it would have to be this color. Duplicate the sketches. Bring them on top. Flatten. I'll make it a little darker. Darker, darker? Uh, I think that's might be a little too dark. There we go. That's good. I kind of want to put some texture on this paper. Let me find... Mm, I think my texture is in my old iPad. Yeah, I think the texture is in the old iPad. Well, let me see if I can put some texture on it really quickly. So let me do multiply and go to my brush. Sketching. Soft pastel. Let me duplicate this and try to make it bigger. I did I just did this on my old iPad. Maximum size, big. Let's see if this is big enough. No, it's not not terrible. Should be good when I I should change the pressure so the sent so this the should change the setting so the pressure doesn't change it so much. But I'll try to like use the same pressure. Okay. So now I just want to make it a little darker, and I just want to make it a little darker around the edges with an airbrush. Whoops. Okay. And now let me do, let me erase a little bit of it. Just in the middle, make it a little lighter in the middle. Ever so gently with the eraser. Just a little bit of texture for the paper, so you can see.
It doesn't have to be this dark either. I can make it a little bit lighter. I can actually make the edges a little bit darker, to be honest with you. See the brush, I make the brush really big and then I and then I shade really far away from it so just the edges of the brush hit the canvas. For example, if I was to change it to like blue, then you'd be able to see, even though I'm this far away, it touches the canvas. And that's because the brush is so big. It actually looks kind of nice. Add a little, little color in there. Okay, and it's multiply, so it should. So that's why is. Let me make. Let me just check. Pretty sure I have it in the right spot. Yeah, it looks better with the multiply on top. Okay, so let me duplicate this and we rename that BG. Hide it. Can bring it down here. I don't need it anymore. Merge these. Merge for me. Okay, so now we have that underneath and that on top, and that will make for a nice. That'll make for a really, really nice reveal. Nice, fun reveal. Well, there's gotta be a way to Be fun to just do like, like little fast, like little swipes across their face. I should use my old phone. Oh good, I got 50 upvotes in Procreate for my little snail. I don't know if you guys are on Reddit, but I posted my little snail. He burps, animated it in Procreate. Only one comment though, I wish I had some more comments. Savannah from from Gatorland. I gotta draw. I gotta draw Savannah with a with an alligator. That'd be cool. She's got some amazing shots with alligators. That'll be a fun one. With that hat. I feel like she always wears a cowboy hat. I'm pretty sure. Um. I think yeah. I think that'd be cool. I might use my old phone. Old phone's a little smaller. Let me take it off the... Not really a big fan of Android 12, to be honest with you. <laughs> Sorry to move my microphone. Oh, and I just nudged it with my head. Looks like it's still straight. My camera is like right here. It's right there. So sometimes I nudge it with my head like a dum-dum. So maybe I'll do it here and then I'll edit it in in CapCut. 
but that might be kind of fun. So I'll start back. Didn't go in focus. Delete this. See, can't see what I'm doing. It'd be easier if I could see what I'm doing. Okay, so I feel like if I should just do like that, 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 that. That's kind of fun. I feel like that's kind of cool. I feel like it'd be interesting. I feel like it's engaging. I'll do a test. I'll I'll post it on TikTok first. Even though nothing, none, none of my videos do too well on TikTok, but that's okay. Okay, so let me start back here. make my eraser really big. Okay, so I think we got something decent. So I'm going to go into cup, cap cut and I'll edit this and I will call it a night. But it was fun to hang out with you guys, if anyone is still there. Um, it's like I'm going to do this stuff anyway, so I figure I might as well just do it live. You know, because who knows, people might watch, you know, obviously you guys are watching or we're watching and... Someone might watch in the future. I love doing lives, even when I'm tired. It makes it makes it really fun. Uh, even on a Saturday night, because this is what I'd be this is what I'd be doing any, anyway. So, um, oh, and before I go, the only other thing I worked on today that I want to show you guys is uh, I learned how to make things glow in. Nomad Sculpt, and I'm really, really excited about it because I love making things glow. Um, here's another thing that I made glow. I'm so excited. And here's the first thing that I made glow when I figured out how to do it. So I'm really, really excited. All right, you guys be good. Have a great night or a great day and um, have a great weekend. 
And I'll probably see you guys. I'll probably be back on tomorrow, maybe around 11. I think I'll be back on tomorrow. Well, hope maybe in the daytime too. I'll try to do one in the daytime if I, if I have some time. Uh, I'll try to get my actual work finished. And we'll see. We'll see how much time I have left. But um, thank you, Jen. Michelle, I know Michelle. Michelle's not. Michelle's gone. She's she's been sleeping for about an hour now. Uh, Shanna, uh, Maine. Uh, I'm not sure if I got the pronunciation of that right. If not, I apologize. Uh, Camille, 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 Camille Studios. Let's see. And Rebellious Pastry came through at the top, number one. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, keep, keep sculpting, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.